This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, investors celebrated another record close as the benchmark S&P 500 index ended above 5,000 for the first time ever. It was a long time coming as the last major assault on the 5,000 milestone came two years ago when the index peaked at 4,800. The move was largely driven by mega cap tech stocks as Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, and NVIDIA have produced a roughly 20% return to start the year. The returns from these four names alone account for around 70% of the S&P 500's gain this year, leaving other major indices and the remaining 490-ish other stocks in the S&P 500 index in the dust. NVIDIA is now worth as much as the entire Chinese stock market. Now, several other stocks have already achieved this feat, but they're bigger conglomerates with many businesses under one roof. NVIDIA is a chip designer and a manufacturer, making this much crazier of an occurrence. Perhaps as a result of the Chinese economy's recession, the Chinese stock market is undervalued, or NVIDIA stock is a tad overvalued. I'll let you decide. The record-setting session came as investors applauded a revision of December's inflation data that showed it was even lower than first reported. Perhaps this will allow Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell to be more dovish in his comments than he was last week on 60 Minutes when he disappointed investors, saying rate cuts are coming, but not as soon or as many as investors had hoped. Overall, good news for the week. The Fed says the economy is strong and they will start cutting rates sometime this year. Inflation is falling faster than reported. Earnings are strong and economists' fears of recession have simply melted away. What's not to like? Well, for one, as the S&P 500 has soared to fresh highs, fewer stocks have been participating in this rally. That worries people that recent gains could reverse if the market's leaders stumble. Strong market breadth, or the number of stocks taking part in a broader index's rise, is often viewed as a healthy sign by investors as it shows gains are less dependent on a small number of names. Market breadth was expanding for much of the last quarter, only to narrow once again so far this year. Now, to some extent, these mega cap tech titan superior earnings have justified their move above the crowd of other stocks. But ultimately, in my experience, when it comes to stocks, valuations matter. Microsoft is now the world's most valuable company, standing at $3.1 trillion in capitalization. That's nearly twice the size of the entire energy sector at $1.6 trillion. In terms of annual free cash flow, Microsoft reported an estimate of $67 billion. That's less than half of the $135 billion that comes from these energy companies. In addition, the U.S. tech sector is worth a third of the entire U.S. equity market. That tops the previous peak seen in July of 2000 at the height of the dot-com bubble, something I thought I'd never see again in my lifetime. Just as a reminder to all, that didn't end well. So in terms of the current new tech paradigm in the market, all I can say is fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me.